Good afternoon, guys. We're going for a ride today to get some propane. And we're taking a couple of the dogs with us. We're Lu taking a Lucy, a.k.a. Bubba, with us. She said she really wanted to go. And Mr. Gizmo doesn't really... I can't really go anywhere without Gizmo, so... <laughs> that's just a fact of life. And we're going to see what we see on the way. We're going to film exclusively with the Fuji camera this time. So, let's see what we see today. That's one of the only working oil wells still around here. It's so quiet, though. You used to be able to hear them for miles. Now you can't even hear it when you're right up on it. Baba, Lewis, are you happy? Are you happy you got to go? She wasn't going to let me go without her today. Before I even started getting ready to leave, she was already just standing there whining at me and running to the door. So, Lucy got to come today. She has her new collar on. Reflective. The stitchings reflect very reflective, actually, and then... She got her, her Lucy tag. Gizmo's got his gizmo tag. We all got new collars. Mike was just running inside real quick and I told him to look out when he went into the to the restroom because um apparently we were in we're in a not so happy area because um there's a sign on the mirror in the bathroom that says, please do not flush needles. I, I didn't know that this was an, was an issue, but apparently it is. Trees are still pretty. That snow's just hanging out. The pine trees are really pretty. funny there's a lot more pine trees up here than there are around our house just a little bit farther north you go even farther north then it's almost all pine trees substantially dropped you can really feel it now it feels like January She went everywhere with us when she was little. Nice. 
yeah, until you realize you're too zoomed in. I'm gonna get a little noisy because it's really noise. All we saw was a squirrel. A squirrel. No pheasants either. I saw a pheasant the other day on the way to work. He was beautiful. I think that's the only the fourth time in my life I've ever actually seen a pheasant. 